Hello everyone, and today I'll be reading a multi-character listener by me. So let's get into it. Lenny. Lenny would know very well how to deal with your injuries, considering that he's been working in the House of Hearts, and he's been through trouble on his own as well. And he knows the basics of first aid. So, bandaging some injuries would be no trouble to him. But... It was upsetting, at the very least. Darling, would you please tell me who hurt you? This is very concerning, Wyan. I must find who did this. And they must pay. I don't have to hurt them if you don't want me to. But at the very least, we can get them in court. He said, and looked at you firmly. You could see how determined he is. And how he seemed to be so upset about what happened to you. Lenny, I'm... I think I'm alright. No, please tell me, Wyan. Besides, I will find them regardless. Just make this easier for me, he said. As he held your hand and squeezed it. Someone had hurt you, and he doesn't care what reason they might have had. To go as far as to hurt someone like you. That made him so upset and angry. Because you'd never hurt anyone before. And even then. Even if you had hurt someone without telling him. You must have had your reasons. And he trusts you. But for someone to do this and not get any consequences. He's not okay with that. And he will make sure. That they pay back for what they've done. He will not let this pass. He will not let this happen. Well, he can do something about it. Not at all. Especially, not while he has a chance to actually punish them himself. Of course, that will be up to away from the watchful eyes of the Eudix of Fontaine. Shao. Shao would be panicking internally. Not because he's never seen anyone like us before. Of course he has. He has encountered many people who were injured, especially since he had fought in the Arkham War. But, but you were someone that he loved, and he had lost people before, and he was not ready to lose anyone again. That's why he held you close, trying his best to calm down. Wyan, you'll be okay, I promise you. I'm alright, Chal. I will be just fine. I don't think I'm the one panicking. Right. I... I need to calm down as well. He said. He felt a little bit ashamed that he was panicking like this. But what could he do? He was worried and scared for your sake. And you were not really upset with him for that. And as he brought you back to your home... Things were rather messy, as he called a doctor for such a small injury. And afterward, he spoiled your rotten. He got to your favorite foods, and would not let you get off the bed until you were well. You were quite sure that a couple of bruises on your knees, and maybe a gash, and just the smallest injury there could be in the world, was not a cause for him to act like you were half dead. But alas, he loved you too dearly, and maybe he panicked too much. He was a little bit ashamed once the doctor told him that he was overreacting, but what could he do? You were his entire world, and to him, that was certainly a worthy cause to overreact. Arlecchino Arlecchino can be very scary, so if you see someone threatening what's hers, she will definitely use that to her advantage. Luckily for whoever hurts you, they were not present at the scene when she found out. Because, had she actually seen them, it's safe to say they would not have made it out alive. My darling Wyan, we could only wonder whoever did this to you, and where they might be now. But don't worry about this. I will deal with them swiftly. Now let's get you home. 
I've already assigned the doctor to come here. And she will take care of you. She said, kissing your forehead gently as she carried you home. She was so gentle and sweet with you, always willing to spell you during your times of need. She may be intimidating and questionable at times, but with those that she cared about, she was lovely. Scary, yes, and sometimes not easy to understand. But she was always willing to give her love, always willing to show her support. But right now, there was something going on in her mind and you could clearly see that. She was wondering who did this and why. And she was quite sure that she would find out herself soon enough. With enough time, of course. And she will deal with them with ease. Nobody would have to know. Not even you. Nivulet. Nivulet would heal you himself. Being the sovereign of all waters, and having control over the primordial sea, the very source of the creation of life, healing was something that he could do. It was a little bit difficult as it did not come naturally to him, when he had to practice using all that new power. But... He had done it swiftly. Your injuries were of no worry to him. But he was more angered that someone would do this. Someone would dare and lay their hand on you. I am so sorry, my dear. But I promise you, they will not escape my judgment. And I will make sure they are dealt with. I am sure of that, Nivillet. I trust you. And I know I'm in good hands, he told him. And that made him feel a little bit better. For you to trust him, that was a good sign. After all, it was what he needed. To know that you're okay, and that you feel safe with him. He never wants you to doubt your own safety, or to feel like it's threatened by someone. And for someone to do this, they were threatening that. And he would not let that happen. Not while you can stop it or punish them. But for now, he needed to care for you and make sure that you're okay. So their punishment can wait. Because lucky for them, he loves you way too much to care about revenge first. Especially when you need him like this. And when he can be there for you. To make sure that you're okay. And that he can take good care of you as you need.